Welcome, first of all, I'm Phil, and I'm gonna fill you in about whiskies that are perfect to buy for that whiskey-loving snob geek person in your life. So I'm gonna separate this video into different sections. Firstly, maybe the person you buy whiskey for, you're not actually sure if they're a whiskey enthusiast, maybe they've drunk whiskey a few times, so I'll give you some safe whiskies. Then we're gonna talk about some good value whiskey geek whiskies. And then we're gonna talk about, you know, if your budget is a little bit bigger, some nice luxury whiskies. So the first whiskey I would recommend for someone who might not be a whiskey enthusiast, but does like the idea of drinking whiskey and would love to receive whiskey as a gift is this one here, the Glen Kinchy 12. And the reason I'm recommending it is that it's a very safe whiskey, it's not smoky, it's not like a sherry bomb. I generally find when I've invited people around to the house who don't drink a lot of whiskey and I've lined up a bunch of whiskeys for them to try to try and get them into it, this is the one they often say, I quite, I quite like that, that. I'd, I'd buy, buy a bottle of that. And I've been quite surprised how well this has done for people who are not like super whiskey geeks with lots and lots of whiskies. What's good about it is that it's generally pretty good value and also they've got great distribution because it's owned by Diageo so you can find this all over the place. Okay so the second whiskey gift I'd recommend would be this one here, the Tamdu 12. This is pretty good value and the glass itself is a really outstanding looking bottle so it just makes for a great gift. When they open this up they'll be like wow that's a cool looking whiskey but it's also a great tasting whiskey. I love drinking this whiskey. It's solely aged in sherry casks which means it has a lot of dried fruit notes, has a lot of nutty notes and it has a lot of spice notes but also it has a lot of Christmas cake notes. It fits into the whole Christmas Theme. So now onto whiskey gifts for the whiskey geek, the whiskey snob, and I think most of you who have searched for this video, this is probably what you're looking for. You know someone in your life who's just really into whiskey, but maybe you're not, and you're not really sure what to buy. So don't worry, I have you sorted with some whiskies that will be perfect for your whiskey loving, you know, friend or whatever family member who just loves whiskey. And the first is the Aaron 10. So this one has just gone bonkers in the whiskey community this year. This one is bottled at 46%. It's a 10 year old, it's non chill filtered, it's natural color. It just has all those things that a lot of us whiskey geeks just really, really like. And also it just keeps winning awards at the moment. It's won best value whiskey in online Scotch whiskey awards two years in a row. There's not really any whiskey snobs or geeks or whatever that I know that don't like this whiskey. Like, in fact, if someone just bought me this, even though I already own one, I'd be like, great, I own two bottles now. <laughs> That's fantastic. Another whiskey I'd say that about would be the Deanston 12. Like the Aaron 10, this is loved amongst whiskey geeks. This one's bottled at 46.3%. I don't really know many people who dislike the Deanston 12. I would say this is a slightly more malty whiskey. This one's a slightly more kind of tropical fruit type whiskey. But what these both have in common is they're both not smoky whiskey. So if you know that person you're buying the gift for doesn't like smoky whiskeys, these would probably be the ones to go for. So the whiskey I'd recommend for someone who loves smoky whiskey would be this one here, the Le Chag 10. So this whiskey has done really well amongst whiskey geeks in the whiskey community recently. And what's really interesting about this whiskey, you know, most smoky whiskies, those big classic famous ones are from the Isle of Isla, like Ardberg, Laphroaig, Lagavulin. However, this one's not actually from the Isle of Isla, it's from the Isle of Mull, which makes kind of an interesting kind of talking point when you get to this whiskey. But not only is it just kind of an interesting talking point, it stands up to all those whiskies. It's doing really well amongst people like me who absolutely love smoky whiskies, hence why it was nominated for the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. And the second smoky whiskey I'd recommend is this one here, the Kilhoman Sinead. So this is also a fantastic smoky whiskey. This one is from the Isle of Isla and pretty much everyone I know who's into whiskey and I've given this to have just loved it. It's bottled at 46% as well. But the difference between this one and this one is, is that it's aged partially in sherry casks. So it mixes kind of two big categories of scotch. It's smoky, but it's also got those kind of sweet sherry cask flavors coming through. So it would make a great gift. I also love the bottle design on it. It just feels chunky and weighty and it 
yeah, it just feels like a gift. And the final good value whiskey for the whiskey geek is this one here, Campus Box Spice Tree. So this one is a little bit left field because it's not actually from a single distillery. It's not a single malt, it's a blended malt. So basically it's made by Campus Box and they get a bunch of whiskies together from different distilleries and they mix it together into a blend that's better than the sum of its parts. And Campus Box do always a great job with this. It has some really nice spiced flavors. So it kind of leans into that sort of Christmas vibes again, the Christmas cake. So if the person you buy for already has a decent amount of whiskies, I think this will make a really good gift because when you give it to them, they'll be like, oh, wow, you really did your research. Like this is quite a unique leaf field different whiskey. As you know, I'm a big advocate for drinking responsibly, drinking quality over quantity, and really enjoying the taste and the flavors over just drinking whiskey to get drunk. However, especially around this time of year, I'm often sharing whiskey, I'm doing whiskey tastings, I'm having whiskey flights, and I'm no longer in my 20s, so often I can't always get away with feeling perfect the next day. So to be extra safe, I am grateful for today's sponsor, which is Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink, produced by PhD scientists that produce an enzyme which breaks down the toxic byproduct of alcohol which builds in your gut. So this byproduct, not dehydration, that causes you not to feel 100% the next day after drinking. So practically what I like to do is drink a bottle say before like a whiskey tasting, then pace myself, drink lots of water, get lots of rest and it really helps me feel better the next day. So you can get 15% off your first order of Zbiotics using the link in the description below zbiotics.com forward slash first fill and then using my code first fill at checkout. Okay, so before I get on to the best whiskey for the whiskey lover, I think there are some great left field options. Like maybe you don't actually wanna buy whiskey. Maybe you're shipping it overseas to someone who lives in a different country. So alcohol, you know, could be hard to send. These will work well. So the first would be a great kind of ice tray. I always find the bigger the ice cube, the better, because it dilutes slower. I always find bits of ice, you know, it just goes watery far too quickly, you know, the kind of ice you get from your freezer. This one here is really good. It does kind of spherical ice, it just works really well. But even better for me, I really enjoy just big, big ice cubes. And this one here does like four ice cubes and they're just massive. And especially here in New Zealand, at Christmas time it's summer. So often I'm not feeling like drinking some car strength smoky whiskey. I often just want a nice whiskey on some ice. What's great about the big ice cubes is because they dilute so slow, you know, you can pour a whiskey over the ice and then when you finish that, you can pour another whiskey over and the ice is still there. The next whiskey gift I'd recommend would be shaker and a spoon, like a shot pourer as well, because I do find people who are into whiskey often dabble into the cocktail space as well, because there's a whole geeky world for that as well. So I do find you can get some really good like packs, kind of tools and that sort of thing. So that can make a good gift. So the next left field whiskey gift would be something like this, a tasting pack. So a lot of distilleries do this where they release a tasting pack that has a bunch of different whiskies that you can kind of taste and compare against each other. So this could work quite well, especially around Christmas time, maybe seeing family and that sort of thing and your brothers and your sisters are there. You can do like an improv whiskey tasting where you can compare a bunch of different whiskies. This one here's from Divergence, which is a New Zealand whiskey. And on the back here is a bunch of like different information about how each whiskey is different, aged in different casks. So something like this means you don't have to commit to picking one whiskey and you can just get a little bit of three whiskey. The other obvious gift is just a big pack of Glen Cairns. I can never have enough Glen Cairns in my collection. It will all work really well. And the last left field whiskey gift would be like a great whiskey themed t-shirts. And I've got one right here. So I actually have a store on Etsy where I've made a bunch of whiskey t-shirts, obviously made by a whiskey geek. Yeah, so this one here, I actually took this photo when I visited Lagavulin Distillery so they can get like a cool distillery t-shirt, but I've got a bunch of others on there as well. So do go check that out as well. Now on to the best whiskey gift for the whiskey lover. So last year I called this kind of my luxury whiskey category, but the kind of whiskies I nominated last year, kind of the prices have just gone astronomical, especially for older whiskies. So I do find there's a really nice sweet spot for whiskies that are not super old, but a little bit older, 
but you get much better bang for buck. You know, sort of those 15 to 18 year old whiskies. The two I've nominated for my best whiskey gifts for the whiskey lover is this one here, the Longmorn 16. This one is a fantastic whiskey. They always have great presentation with Longmorn whiskies. Just look at that. Opens up, <laughs> it's great. So the modern Longmorn doesn't actually come in this color box, it comes in a purple box, but I actually think the purple box is an even better presentation type whiskey. Bottled at 48%, it's non-chill filtered, and whiskey geeks just go nuts over this whiskey. Look, if I was gifted this whiskey five times, I would not complain. I'd love to have five bottles of the Longmorn 16. It's really, really good. So you can't go wrong gifting this whiskey. It is a little bit hard to find though. So my actual pick for 2022 is the Tamdu 15. This also makes a fantastic gift for the whiskey geek. So we already talked about the Tamdu 12 and this is the Tamdu 15. So it's just everything turned up rather than 43%, it's 46%. It's also aged in sherry casks. It fits into those Christmas cake kind of spice vibes. So great for the Christmas season. And it's a 15 year old rather than a 12 year old. So it just has that little bit more complexity to it. A lot of people who I know really love whiskey love this whiskey. In fact, there's quite a few people I know that say this whiskey is their favorite whiskey overall, like full stop. So you can't go wrong. It's a great whiskey box, a great whiskey gift. The bottle just looks awesome. And the liquid is also awesome. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you like all things whiskey. And thanks to my patrons for making this video possible. And above all, share and enjoy.